Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about working remotely and whether this is a long-term uh, change that our industry needs to embrace or whether this is just a short-term um, phase that we're going to go through. So I'm no futurist. I have had a quite a diverse career that has basically been in three parts, which was working independently for myself alone to working in the advertising industry and then working in-house with in-house design teams. I feel that it doesn't necessarily qualify me to be an expert on remote working, but given that the first part of my career, I did work from home, working with clients around the world, that puts me pretty close to working remotely. I've also since leaving an in-house design team, mostly spent my time working at home. And I've tried to break into what was the remote industry. So let me just qualify that. When I left the bank and I was looking for new opportunities, I started reaching out to all these remote job applications around the world, thinking that it would be a good opportunity for me to get back to designing uh, as opposed to being a leader as much and get me an opportunity to work globally um, on brands that I would never have worked with um, being in South Africa. When I applied for these remote jobs, it became apparent to me that I was not the candidate they, candidate that they were looking for, not because of a lack of my experience or skills or anything else, but my location. This seemed to be really important to people. I think that maybe it comes down to tax and uh, the ability to pay you and um, get company benefits from employing people in that specific country or region. So, I mean, up until now, I've pretty much written it off as a real opportunity to work remotely. This pandemic has presented us with all having to work remotely for the time being. Now, this isn't for everybody. This is specifically, I'm talking to designers. Everybody right now is having to work from home. And what has the feedback that I've received from my friends who are trying to manage these teams now is that this isn't a bad thing and that productivity is up. Now, there's certainly going to be some nuances, but I can certainly see some benefits. So some of those nuances are going to be, do people have the right equipment and access that they need? There's going to be a lot more uh, video calls, which everybody's now talking about Zoom and Skype and products like that. And so it makes perfect sense. You need to be able to do that. You need to be able to sit in front of a camera and have fast enough internet access to be able to be on a video call. There's going to need to be some time management with that. There's going to also need to be the ability to work from home on your own or find a way to work with your colleagues that it, you don't feel so far removed. Some of the other nuances that you're going to experience is if you have hardware problems and you can't get your IT guys to come to you, you're going to have to go out and that's going to infringe on time that you could have been spending either working with your colleagues or um, working on a project. So it's going to present a few issues there that are going to have to be resolved. But the benefits, on the other hand, is that you've lowered the cost of having staff accommodated in a working environment, in an office. And it's also then 
reduced the amount of travel time people have to take. You've also reduced the amount of distraction that an office brings. For example, when I worked at the bank and you had 37,000 people that all have to kind of align to one vision for the bulk of the organization, there's a lot of rules in place and distractions in place that hinder the progress of the 150 people that I used to lead that didn't necessarily need to be bothered by this corporate structuring. And and uh, when you take that away and you now go, people have more time to sit down and focus and be productive, then there's some very clear benefits to getting work out the door, which is the majority of the problem. Some of the other like things you need to consider is, you know, do people have the maturity to do this? Do people feel comfortable doing this? Because there's a lot of people who don't necessarily want to be on camera. I had already predicted this about two to three years ago. I said that everybody better get used to being on camera. Doing video is something that I needed to overcome because I really felt that we were all going to be producing content and communicating via video. And so we might as well get used to seeing ourselves on a screen and it comes with it presents its own problems. So that's also going to have to kind of be dealt with. I personally have a charisma that feeds off the energy and of the people around me, which is lost on a video. I'm a very different person when you interact with me in real life compared to how you're interacting with me on a video or through a video chat. So these are all skills that we're going to have to learn to be able to do. Now, I've heard some of my friends go and there's like a Zoom celebrities or something like that, which is like Zoom and celebrity. There's going to be people like that. And sure, there's going to be rock stars that are going to do great jobs and we will hopefully all be inspired by them rather than annoyed by them. And hopefully buzzwords like that will go away. But I do feel that we're going to have to look at this as a real skill to to um, craft because we're going to get over the he's wearing pajamas and his hair's a mess and his kids running around in the background. While at the same time, we're also going to have to accept that people are different in their homes And that they might have kids running around now that kids can't go to school and they're being homeschooled and they're asking you to spell things, you know, every five minutes and they want your attention now that you're constantly around. So we've definitely got some things to get used to. Do I think this is a long term um, thing? I'm honestly not sure. I don't know that the impact of all of this has the longevity to last years that we will now go life as we know it has changed completely. I think there's a lot of people that miss the way things were and will probably more be more comfortable going back to the norm that they were used to. There's no denying things have changed. And things will never be the same. But I don't know that it's to that extreme that that's it. Nobody goes to work anymore. It would be lovely. I love the quiet roads. I love that there's not as much pollution. I love that there's not as much noise. I'm, uh, these things are great. I'm looking at it and, and I'm thrilled to see the world this way. I'm also an introvert. So for me, working from home sounds fantastic. But I don't know that it's for everybody. You know, there's probably more extroverts in the world and they thrive on the energy of people. It's going to be very easy for people to come back to that routine, go back to the office, go back to this. But as designers, do we need that? As leaders, could we fight for our team to stay at home? Do designers need to go to the office? These are all the questions we should be asking ourselves and preparing ourselves for post this pandemic. Now, 
Is this going to end at the end of the predicted lockdown in a week? Given that there's no cure for this virus, I don't see us going back to normal anytime soon. And so I would suggest that you do get comfortable with working remotely. And if you see a real benefit for your design team, that you start writing these points down and motivate to keep things this way going forward. If you just stick to the monetary benefits to both your employees and the costs to your organizations, there's already a huge step in the right direction. When you consider productivity, which has always got a cost involved, again, that's something that you can put forward. And then it's just checking in with your team and making sure that morale's good and and people are thriving through this. Then I don't see that it would be that hard to stay this way. Is it necessary? No, we've been designing in studios and offices for many, many years. Are there new benefits? Absolutely. And I think that you should consider that and, you know, debate that with your colleagues and your leadership and try and make that happen if there's a real advantage. So we don't know. There's so much uncertainty. I'm not going to try and predict anything. But I would encourage you to not fight this. Rather embrace it. If there are benefits, then make a case to make remote working the way forward for your organization and for your team and for yourself. My name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.